Spiritual Flows. Life, love and light the communion. Life, love and light is communion between a seeker and an awakened one. In the same way, it can be a communion between the author and the reader if taken in the same spirit as I did and therefore can be instrumental in the process of your transformation. There is a song echoing deep within me. The same song echoes within you as well. Maybe we may not recognize the words, but the song is same. This song echoes through your each breath movement or through each wave arising in your heart each moment. When the echo of the song echoing in you begins to reach within me, know this as the beginning of communion. This is not communication as one may understand. When two hearts begin to vibrate at the same wavelength, this is the beginning of wordless communication. This is communion, the fragrance of love. Love bridges one person to another. Love bridges life to light. Love bridges you to existence. And when each one is bridged to existence, know this as cosmic harmony or oneness. Love that bridges one to another and everyone to the existence is a form of energy known as existential bioenergy. When energy emerging from its origin within human body begins to flow freely both within and without an unfathomable treasure of bliss, harmony and fulfillment opens for you. Within a human being, this bioenergy connects alpha to omega, nafs to ru or earth center to the thousand petal center. The author says this work, life, love and light, though is a communication as we understand between two people at intellectual level. But for me, it was a communion, transfer of energy between a seeker and the awakened one and transfer of existential energy assume the form of a message in the form of this work. Therefore, we cannot call this communication because it did not happen in a usual way as we understand. And for this realization, when I wanted to use the message, a journey of transcendence with my master as subtitle, Tao agreed. Tao said indeed, it is a journey of transcendence, which I realized much later. In such communion, both master and disciple transcend to unknown horizons. For all such reasons, the author has chosen life, love and light as the main title and a journey of transcendence with my master, one as subtitle. It is first in the series of three books, first being Love, Life, Love and Light, second being Light Onto Myself and third Life of Bliss. It is in a sequential order as things happen when transformation begins and continues. Life, Love and Light is not the communication between seeker and an awakened one as it is understood. 
Instead, the entire text happens as communication, communion between the two. The entire journey was a unique way to relate. Normally, we relate to someone when there is a demand or need or expectation. This is how we built our relationships. No sooner these mushroom and no sooner these mushroom, the waning process begins. However, the purpose to relate, to grow, evolve and attain to transcendence beyond dualities, Tao infused deep within me. Really, a relationship can happen and blossom only when through such interaction there is neither expectation nor any demand, just overflow of compassion and trust. Relationship as mind understands is the union based on faces, motivations, etc. Therefore, it is illusory Therefore, it is illusory and does not help us in any way. Remember, without harmony within, when two persons try to relate to one another, it leads to reactions. Response is the way to form a bond, not reaction. Constant reaction creates conflict. These continues life of conflict and chaos. Know this as unconscious flow of energy as thought process. Once this continues, it will lead to separation. The unconscious movement of thought process leads to conflict, chaos and pain both within and without. When there is no expectation or demand, there will be no illusion either. Instead, there is harmony, crystal clarity and peace within. Such is the state of emptiness. Know this as bliss. For this, author confirms that sometimes I did not ask any question that arose within. Instead, I nourished the question or inquiry within and suddenly one day got the answer from within. This is known as communion, wordless communication. Other times the answer was just a silent gesture difficult to understand and to decipher the silence in the beginning as I was not used to this kind of association. However, for sure, I was growing in trust and I felt this too has some meaning in the process of inward journey. At times, there was an explanation. This is the way of communication that we knew. This I understood easily. However, it was a communion between me as a seeker and Tao, the awakened one. Now I understand even the slightest gesture. Now, the title which is equally important to understand, chaos refers to a state of inner indiscipline, a state of conflict, indecision, pain, suffering, anger, frustration and tensions, a state of complete breakdown. Such is the state of schizophrenia 
in psychology this is the state when two hemispheres of brain are split and therefore become incapable to arrive at a decision the mind remains divided between this and that cosmos on the other hand refers to the universe the entire solar and planetary systems no one is doing anything about it no one is running it everything is happening in a rhythmic pattern the sun the moon the stars and the planets are moving in harmony such a state is known as cosmos this work bridges three stages of life first we are born life comes into existence first we are born and thus life comes into existence with birth the journey begins we have to prepare ourselves for life education knowing learning is the way to attain to wisdom the seed has blossomed into a flower being manifests being manifests as illumination this stage we call as enlightenment thereafter the journey is still continues you are a light onto yourself with this comes a great responsibility this work began as the process of my journey of transformation one day tau said to me nivedita you should allow the journey to appear in a book form although this is your journey but it will inspire many in their process of transformation the questions you have asked are the questions of almost everyone you had the courage to ask such questions most of the people nourish such questions within them and can never gather courage to ask for this gesture humanity shall always remain grateful to you and i am also grateful to you my blessings to you forever although it began as a personal dialogue for my transformation what tao taught me as well as part of our communi communication are now becoming available in a published form for people and seekers in general neither through separation nor condemnation can the lotus be grown if you can transform the seed into a beautiful lotus of awakening your life will be benediction medium to bring light into someone's dark life you start risking your life for one in need your body and consciousness become a vehicle to take others on the right like a lighted candle you can light thousand other candles yet your own light remains unaffected you start sharing your life presence and being as celebration and the dance of ecstasy you remember your life is not to conquer people rather conquer their hearts you realize love bridges the two shores life and light therefore this title is chosen life love and light the master is one who has realized this and by virtue of this realization now lives such understanding moment to moment therefore he remains a mystery of the unknown and the message has the capacity to transform the life of a chaotic state to a cosmic one